I want to talk to you today about unclutter your mind. It's easy to go around worried about our future, stressed over our finances, frustrated with our boss. We're tempted to live guilty because of past mistakes and bitter over what didn't work out. And we wonder why we don't enjoy life, why we're not passionate about dreams, why we can't sleep at night. It's because our mind is cluttered. You weren't created to live worried, guilty, bitter, upset. If you're going to reach your destiny, you have to clear out the clutter. You can't stop negative things from coming, but you can keep them from staying. You don't have to hold on to it. When we make mistakes, guilt will come. Condemnation, telling us how we don't measure up. You can hold on to it, go around down on yourself, or you can let it go and say, Father, thank you that I am forgiven. Thank you that I am redeemed. The past is over. This is a new day. I'm moving forward. When you go through a disappointment, something doesn't work out, you can hold on to it, live discouraged, or you can let it go and say, God, I know you have something better. I know your plans for me are for good. I know you're directing my steps. When the medical report is not good, when the contract doesn't go through, when you're in a legal situation, you can hold on to it, live worried, thinking, what am I going to do? Or you can let it go and say, God, I know you're fighting my battles. I know what's meant for harm. You're turning to my advantage. I may not see a way, but God, I know you have a way. You can clear out the clutter. You can get rid of the negative things that are stealing your peace, taking your joy, draining your energy. The scripture tells us to guard our minds. You have to be proactive when it comes to keeping your mind in peace because all through the day, there's clutter. There's noise, there's jealousy, there's hurts, there's offense. They may come, but you don't have to hold on to it. And sometimes living worried has become normal to us. We've done it for years. Living guilty is what we're used to. We've gone around thinking we don't deserve to be blessed. We've made too many mistakes. We've let that recording play so long that we've accepted it. Or maybe living inferior, feeling less than. Perhaps that's how you were raised. Thoughts have always told you, you're not that talented. You're not attractive. You don't have a good personality. We didn't know any better. We believed those lies and now our mind is cluttered. The good news is, this is your day for an intervention. It is time to clear out the clutter. Those thoughts that are telling you you're not up to par, you need to say, no, thank you. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I have royal blood flowing through my veins. I'm wearing a crown of favor. Clear out the negative. You have enough people in life against you. Don't be against yourself. You've been made in the image of Almighty God. God doesn't make any mistakes. He didn't make you faulty. He calls you a masterpiece, a prized possession. My challenge, don't say another negative word about yourself. Quit dwelling on those thoughts telling you what you're not. You are exactly how you're supposed to be. You have been wonderfully made. Now get in agreement with God. All through the day, this recording should be playing in our mind. I'm a masterpiece. I'm one of a kind. I'm talented. I'm attractive. I'm favored. I'm empowered. I have seeds of greatness. When you dwell on what God says about you, it will automatically clear out the clutter. Fear can't stay where faith is. Discouragement can't stay where hope is. Guilt can't stay where forgiveness is. Mediocrity can't stay where greatness is. Program your mind with what God says about you. If you don't clear out the clutter, it will keep you from going to new levels. Worry will keep you from rising higher. Living guilty will keep you from pursuing dreams. Going around offended, bitter will keep you from new opportunities. Well, Joel, these people hurt me. They did me wrong. That's why I'm bitter. That's why I'm upset. That happened 27 years ago. Why are you still holding on to it? Why are you still sour over the person that walked away? Still upset over how you were raised. Still bitter over that company that let you go. Don't be a hoarder. 
Don't let that poison your future. They hurt you once. Don't let them continue to hurt you by holding on to it. Recognize that's cluttering your mind. That's limiting your vision. And I'm not saying what they did wasn't hurtful. I'm not making excuses for their behavior, but as long as you hold on to it, you're giving them your power. You're letting them control you. We only have so much emotional energy each day. Do you know how much energy it takes to hold a grudge, to be bitter, to go around trying to pay people back? That is valuable energy you need for your dreams, for your goals, for your children. God said he will give you beauty for ashes. But here's the key. You have to let go of the ashes before you receive the beauty. You can't go around hurt, living offended, upset, and see the new things God has in store. You have to clear out the clutter. That's what makes room for God to give you the beauty. The mistake we make sometimes is we think we have to get even. We have to pay people back. No, that's not your job. If you'll turn it over to God, he'll be your vindicator. He'll bring justice into your life. He saw every hurt, every wrong, every person that took advantage of you. I've learned God will vindicate you better than you can vindicate yourself. David said, God will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. That means when God brings you out, those people that did you wrong, the people that tried to hold you back, they will see you promoted, honored, in a position of influence. Thanks for watching this message. I hope you enjoyed it. We upload new videos every week to keep you inspired and encouraged. So don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments below how this message has encouraged you.